Jason Day is your new PGA champion for 2015. What a performance that was last night. Long hitting, straight hitting. Um, and in this video, I'm just going to concentrate on what allows Jason to hit the ball as far as he does. And you might want to copy a few of these movements, guys, or certainly try to, anyway. Um, I don't think there's anything particularly damaging about these movements. Um, I think these are fairly universal. You know, pretty much every two a player makes these movements. Uh, yeah, there are slight variations in these movements, but they all tend to have these movements within their golf swing. And it's something that I see lacking in, in many club golfers do lack these movements um, and, and try to create power from uh, less efficient sources. So, obviously Jason's at the top of his back swing here. And the first thing I'm just going to outline is the direction he moves in. Start with his downswing. Um, what we'd maybe term as a lateral shift. And you can clearly see that he's actually moving his whole body towards the target. Um, and during that period, his torso stays fairly calm and still, but his pelvic region twists and rotates. And I'm going to highlight that by just popping a little circle on one of his belt loops that we can see. And that obviously is moving towards the target as well. And from the other viewpoint down the line, we can see that that belt loop is actually making its way around and kind of back out towards the golf ball. So that clearly indicates rotation. And the other interesting thing, this is the this is the difficult movement. This is where you need flexibility um, and a lot of a lot of strength. Um, when Jason gets his lead arm level with the ground, or approximately level with the ground, he's actually twisted his hips or his pelvis back to where it started. Um, that takes a lot of flexibility. I think it does. I mean, you can try that. Uh, there's certain exercises that you can do to increase that range of movement, uh, but that's not easy. Then the movement of a, of a sequence or kinetic sequence, as we call it, from that point there with the pelvis rotating, torso starts to rotate, um, but that is lagging behind. People like the word lag, certainly when they're talking about power, it tends to get referred to in that sense. And what Jason is very good at doing is releasing that lag at the very last moment there. So if you're gonna create lag to create power, it's imperative that it's released. Anybody who's trying to create more lag and is, is generating more lag, if it's not released, there's gonna be trade-offs, guys. The club face is most likely gonna be more open for, sort of, for you slices out there. Trying to create more lag could potentially be very very detrimental to your goal swing or goal shots. You're going to start going further right. Um, and if the lag isn't released, you're actually losing speed. So be careful with that. So we'll wind him through a little impact here on the right. Bit of a toe hit though, actually. Didn't see that over the weekend. <laughs> so that ball's probably going to start right and then start drawing back. Good toe strike, bit of a miss hit. Right, I'm going to go into something a little bit more complicated just for the last minute or so. Um, what is actually allowing Jason to rotate his pelvis and rotating it at the speed that he does? Because the speed of his pelvic movement is off the charts. So it's, maybe it's not quite McElroy, but it's, it's up there. I mean, if you're hitting the ball 320 plus, and 300 plus with a three wood, 
yeah, you're creating some speed and it's all coming from the pelvic region. Or is it? It actually starts somewhere else. It actually starts down in the lead foot. Um, so bear with this. I might put um, another video purely on this in the future. Um, but this is a ground reaction force. So Jason's going to apply a force into the ground. And then the, the ground is then going to send the force back in the opposite direction. And if we look at his lead foot, you can see it moving. It looks like his ankle's rolling over a little bit. It almost looks like the outside of the shoe is going down into the turf. So Jason is applying a force in that direction. And then the ground is spitting another a force back at him in the opposite direction. And it's that force coming from the ground which Jason and well, all of us really, but he uses that to rotate his pelvis very quickly. All the tour players are doing that. And that's something that us recreational players can copy that as well. I know I'm doing that now and I must have put on probably 20 to 30 yards in the last six months just by knowing the information. I went to a ground reaction for a seminar and the information that I gained from that session um, allowed me to hit the ball 25 to 30 yards further, which is a lot. Um, I didn't understand before that session how the ground was actually being used to create force or speed, and I do now, and it has helped me. Um, I'm cautious to give this information to recreational players. Um, there's maybe other things in the swing that need to be tidied up first, but certainly if somebody's hit the ball quite straight and quite well, but wants to hit it a little bit further, um, certainly this information can help them to do that. So if there's any questions, guys, just leave them in the comments box below. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks.